Hello everyone, my name is Tams, Tammy, whatever you want to call me. Um, today I'm going to be dyeing my 4C hair. I'm using the Revlon Color Effects Frost and Glow. It is the honey. Um, there's two kinds, you have honey and you have blonde. Make sure you get the honey one. Um, it says it's ammonia free. This is my first time using Revlon, so I'm just, you know, trying it out. It says Revlon Color Effects Frost and Glow Highlighting Kit gives you natural looking salon quality highlights in the convenience of your own home. So it has the safety instructions on here as far as um, how to use it. So I'm just going to go through and show you guys how I'm going to dye my hair. Stay tuned. All right. So as soon as you open the box, you have different pieces. You have the cream developer. You have the Frost and Glow. Um, you see highlight powder you have the after highlighting moisturizer shampoo and conditioner it also give you a cap so if I was doing highlights I would use this cap but I'm not I'm gonna dye my whole entire hair so I don't, I'm not gonna actually use this it comes with gloves so if you don't have gloves don't worry it's gonna come with gloves and then it has like this little plastic bag which I'm probably gonna use to put over my hair since I'm dyeing my whole hair and it comes with instructions so when in doubt read the instructions you guys um so like I said I'm not putting the cap on so I'm not gonna be pulling out strands I don't have enough to pull out as you can tell so I'm just gonna put the developer and the powder together it does come with a container so if you don't have one it's okay it has a container for you and once I get all that mixed up, we'll do that. All right, so I have my gloves on. I'm done mixing it. So it's a thick consistency. Thick. Um, I'm not used to um, highlight powder. I'm used to just liquid. So this is going to be a little different for me. Now, I would suggest putting Vaseline kind of around like your hairline just so it won't burn. I'm not doing that. But I would suggest for you to do that if you're not used to coloring your hair at home, like doing it yourself. So you'll know it's ready when it's all mixed in. It's like this purplish, bluish tint to it. So once you get it like that, then you can start applying it. Make sure you put on your gloves. It does come with gloves. And it says after you use step three was to mix it together, which we did. Step four is apply using the spatula that is provided in the kit, which looks like this. You're gonna arrange it and kind of, if you're doing the um, highlights, then you would have on this cap and then you would just kind of go over the strands that you would like. Since I'm doing my whole head, I'm gonna actually put it on my whole entire head and kind of work it in. I only got one box just because my hair is so short, but if you have longer hair, I was just getting two boxes. And then once I apply it, I'll come back and show you what it look like. And it says on here to leave it in for five to 10 minutes. Do not exceed 60 minutes. Um, I typically leave hair dye on for 30 minutes just because I am natural and I have thick 4C hair. So it takes some time for my hair to process, but I never used the Revlon before. So I'll check on it maybe like after the 10 minute mark. So I'll be back once I apply the hair dye to my hair. <laughs> I'm finished putting it all over my hair okay I just want to say I have on a full face of makeup 
not for this video only because I was apartment hunting today so that's why I have on full face of makeup just want to throw that out there I will say this is turning my hair really quickly so I wouldn't suggest leaving this on um, past the recommended time um, maybe like 15 minutes 20 minutes but so far the color is looking good I don't know if you can see it or not probably not but I'll come back once it's done so I'm back with the final results as you can tell it came out really good As you can tell, it came out like the box, but I honestly did not want it that color. I wanted it darker, but I'm sure after like two weeks, it'll get darker than this. But this is the final results. I will suggest deep conditioning. So um, I used the shampoo in here. My hair did feel a little dry, then I used the conditioner. But then I went back and used my conditioner, set it in the dryer for like 30 minutes. And my hair feels, it feels really good. It feels soft. It feels moisturized. Um, definitely keep your hair moisturized. Keep conditioning your hair um, so it don't break off. And I'll come back, probably do a check-in later. All right, so it's been one day since I've dyed my hair. Um, so far, all I can say is my hair did feel a little dry. So I deep condition it. I put some leave-in conditioner in today. I'll probably put some more. Um, the biggest thing is to make sure that you deep condition your hair after you dye it. But the color came out really good. I'm super happy with the results. I did leave it in a little bit too long. So I feel like if you don't make that mistake, you'll be okay. You'll do better than me. But um, Revlon came through, you guys. So I will say this is a good product. Thanks. New hair color. 